Welcome back to Homemade Cooking. Today we're making steamy, creamy nut butter. This will have you wanting to spread it all over yourself. You don't have to do this first step, but I have a very small food processor, just like everything else on me. Um, so I pre-soaked my nuts, giggity, for two days. But if you don't, if you have a powerful food processor, you don't have to pre-soak anything. I do personally believe that everything is better when it's pre-soaked. However, you can just go ahead right in, dry, and good to go. So if your food processor is large enough, you can put all the nuts in at once. If it's teeny tiny like me, mine, then you have to go uh, section by section and inch by inch. So only a little bit at a time. Um, so you're going to put your peanuts in your food processor and you're going to spin and spin and spin. This is literally the most simple recipe, the simplest, eh, whatever, the simplest recipe you could ever do. It can't get any easier than this. Because the nuts grow in volume, the more that you work them, um, you will have to periodically stop and push it down. Then again, like I said, if you just have a wide enough food processor, you'll be able to just go without any problems. If you have a teeny tiny one like me, then you'll have to stop and push it down and start again. And then what I do in between is pour it into a blender just so I can, or a bowl, I just had a blender nearby, and I can put honey in it. You can add whatever you want. You can add chocolate, you can add honey, you can add berries, that would be fucking weird, but you could. You could add actual semen for your skin. Always remember to add semen to your diet for your skin. I ended up using about half a cup of honey, and you can always add more or less. Don't add sugar to it. The real peanut butter does not need fucking sugar. Y'all are just used to Jif. Fuck Jif. Jif makes you constipated. Peanuts don't make you constipated. Jif doesn't. Jif makes you constipated. Don't. Actually, all peanut butters that you don't make yourself make you fucking constipated. And that's fucking weird. This is why we make our own. Anyway, we're going to mix them, the honey or whatever you put in there. Um clockwise for gain counterclockwise for loss and then you're going to food process again and again and again and again and again it'll take about 15 minutes honestly um to get it all done when it starts to look thick like this um then it's almost done When it starts to make this type of shape, then you know it's done. I like mine a little crunchy, but if you like yours smoother, then you can continue to process it all you want. And there you go. Easy, creamy, steamy nut butter. And it lasts for a while. It's delicious. So from now on, don't buy peanut butter. Make your own peanut butter. Make your own nut butter. Always. Thank you for watching and remember, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife, but I can.